Welcome back to Kumahimo. Remember we made these in an earlier video? Today I'm going to show you how to take it off of this and how to make a bracelet. First, we need to measure our wrist. I measured mine and it came out to about seven inches. Now, we need to add two more inches so that it will easily slip over your hand. So there's seven, eight, nine. Nine inches is how long I need my kumihimo cord to be. So let's measure the cord. Here it is, back of my cardboard loom. I'm going to give it a little tug and straighten it out. Let's see what we have. I have almost nine inches. I need about a half of an inch more. So let's get going. We can do this together. One, two, three, up, place, touch, and turn. Up, place, touch, and turn. This was so much fun to make, so relaxing. I've done a few more turns. Let's measure it again. Here's my measuring tape. Let's see. Spot on, nine inches. Next, I need to take it off of the cardboard. So to do that, I'm going to take each one of these out. Just popping them each gently off. Now they're all loose. I'm going to take my cord end and just pull that through the hole, like that. Now this is ready to start another one. Now that it's off the cardboard, I want to stop this from unraveling. So I'm going to put a knot right here. I'm just going to wrap this around my finger and push all of these through the hole and tie this knot right about the end. Cord. So there are several different ways that you can finish this into a bracelet. One way would be to tie these ends together right here. And then you can trim this if you choose, any length that you like. Another way to finish this into a bracelet would be to hold these two ends together and get some more yarn, leaving a tail and wrapping this tightly here and then tying a knot but the way we're going to finish it today is like this. On this end, where we finished, I'm going to measure about an inch. And I'm going to put another knot, like this one, right here, like this. I wrapped it around my finger and I'm going to pull all of these yarn pieces 
pieces through. So I have my end knot, and then I have a space, and then I have my second knot that I'll pull tightly. There we go. Now we have this little space, and I'll show you what that's for. So here we have our Kumihimo bracelet. This is the first knot that we put in at the very beginning. Then we worked our Kumihimo. Then we pulled it out of the cardboard loom and made a second knot. We measured about an inch and made another knot. So now there are three knots. The next step is going to be to make another knot right here on top of the first one. So here's my very first knot that was at the beginning of my kumihimo. I'm going to wrap this around my finger and pull this end through. Now I'm just going to knot it right on top of the last one. See how big that is? That's what we want. So now I have my double knot here, my kumihimo, my last knot, and then my second knot. Watch how it goes together. We're going to take this and put it through this, just like that. Now you can trim your ends as long as you like. I like mine to be short, so I'm going to give them a quick trim. Now I have my Kumihimo bracelet. So there we are, three different ways to finish off your Kumihimo bracelet. I hope you have fun with them.